in here is a food packed full of vitamin B12, iron and protein, which is produced in Britain, but unbelievably, almost nobody eats it. In fact, we waste 36 million tonnes of it a year, which is a dreadful shame. I'm going to get you all to eat blood. We should eat more of it, but us Brits find the thought of cooking with blood pretty hard to stomach. Now, that is something <laughs> I definitely wouldn't be putting past my lips. To. I think it's the thought of it that, that puts you off straight away. Hey, if you were going to tell me it was going to be good for you, I would, I would, I would taste it, yeah, I would eat it. It does sound a bit sort of like Hammer House of Horror type of approach to cooking. No, it feels a little bit too devil-worshipping for me. Actually. I'm not a vampire, <laughs> sorry. It might be out of fashion, but protein-rich pig's blood has traditionally been used in cooking. I'm going to try some of the world's best blood recipes, so I'm here at this abattoir to source some prime fresh ingredient. As in all abattoirs, the pigs are stunned before being bled. Is that my bucket? Yeah, okay. I'm taking my blood to renowned butcher David Lishman to learn how to make the classic British blood dish, black pudding. Great, it's uh, very rare that we actually get fresh blood nowadays. After cooling for a couple of hours, the blood oxidises and turns brown. The blood is mixed with barley, oatmeal, pork fat and lots of herbs and spices and poured into a sausage machine. Are these bits of intestine, then? Yeah. yeah. It looks like a kind of um, birth control device. Oh, my word. Lovely. This goes into the boiler yeah. now. Right. OK. For so 45 minutes to an hour. Excellent. Blood. Nice, firm, mealy. British black pudding. Yeah, it's good. Right, I'll have a bit of that to take on.